Odell Beckham Jr. did a fascinating interview with GQ. They covered many areas, including Odell's trade to the Browns, all the criticism he receives, how he thought about retiring from football, and how he wants to break Jerry Rice's receiving yards record. The August issue of GQ is out tomorrow, but you can hear all the details right here on Undisputed. And we are joined now by the man that interviewed Odell for GQ, Mark mm -hmm. Anthony Green. Welcome to Undisputed. Welcome. How you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. Excuse me. I have known this man for a good while. <laughs> Spent a lot of time around him. And I am here to say that once again, you did a sensational job oh, on this you. blockbuster GQ cover story. Thank the, you. the intro that you wrote is among your best writing that I have ever read. And the rapport that you obviously established with Odell was riveting to me because it just goes deeper and deeper and deeper. Did you feel a connection? Have you known Odell in the past from different cover shoots or no, anything? No, no. So, you know, we had met a few times, but for like two seconds. And one thing that we really, really try to do, uh, especially the new GQ, so we have a new editor-in-chief starting in January, Will Welsh. And one thing that he's so passionate about is giving uh, our favorite, most interesting people, athletes, actors, musicians, whoever, uh, a space to have an honest, uh, sometimes difficult conversation. Correct. And I think that's so important, um, especially for athletes, because they have to speak to media uh, constantly. And, you know, there's a huge difference between uh, what, what we do at GQ, what you guys do here, and what, you know, like the beat reporter at the sure. Cleveland Gazette. Know. Yeah. You know, and I and I think that um, you know you guys are, are are entertainers and provocateurs, and you know it's the most provocative man, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> on the airwaves. But you know, I think that he, uh, I'm really grateful that he came and and that we could have an honest conversation, and uh, he was willing to talk about anything, and he was really thoughtful about it. Um, I genuinely think that this is the best look at who he is, mm. which is our goal for every profile. And I appreciate the kind words, but, uh, you know, there's a, an entire team of people uh, equally, if not more talented than me at GQ, so. He is the most provocative athlete of, of recent times. They say he's the me. Skip Bayless of the okay. NFL. Okay, well, That's maybe this awesome. is uh, So, you know I mean? let me jump in and start oh, yeah. from the start. <laughs> in your intro, this is the key detail of the story because this is a constant theme on this show. Okay. What is the hood ornament on his rolls, his orange rolls, which yeah. he picked out before the trade? It yeah. just happened to come out, as you described it, sort of tangerine orange, yeah. snooky, right? I said it was between, yeah, yeah. electric tangerine yeah. and snooky. Okay, <laughs> I like that. That might have been the best line of yeah. the piece, actually. Yeah. Okay, so what is that hood ornament? It's a chrome figurine of the catch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What dominates this whole piece to me? The catch. What has shaped the psyche and the Instagram following of one Odell Beckham Jr. from the start? It was the catch, correct? Yeah. So in your eyes, having sat with them for all the time that you sat, it, describe what the catch means to Odell. If you, if we could zero in on Skip sneakers right now, mm -hmm. you can he's got that. on a pair of Jordan 11s, mm -hmm. uh, and on the bottom of him it has a Jumpman logo. Okay. When Michael Jordan played every game after he jumped from the free throw line, do you think he was thinking about that? No. 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 So why are we holding Odell to a standard that we haven't held any other athlete to? Mm. He did something that was remarkable, one of the greatest catches in football history. It became a symbol for him. It is a branding thing. Nike uses it. I don't think it's anything more than that. And if I had to make that catch, I probably couldn't afford a Bentley, but like a Volvo, I'd put it on my Volvo. <laughs> but let me ask you a question. You know? Michael Jordan jumped from the free throw line. Uh huh. He loses that dunk competition. Are we still looking at that logo the same? Probably Because he lost that game. <laughs> because probably he... not. Okay. But so here's why, before you go any farther, skip. And this is what I told you. Uh -huh. And Skip and I, we go back and forth of this, and, I, and, and Skip's like, you know what? You might be on to something. They lost that game. Okay. Why is it that when people point out that was a hell of a catch, Odell, but you lost the game, when did fact become hate? 
No, I don't think, I think saying that is fair, but people say a lot more than that. And that's not what he just said. Yeah. So we got to stick to yeah. what he, he said. Is he too preoccupied with it? My answer is no. Right. Did he lose that game? Yeah, he lost that game. But Do I think it matters? Not really. He said in the article, they pointed out, he uh -huh. said this, and you said this is the most, this is the most clear of indication of who Odell Beckham is. Yeah. When people point out to Odell Beckham, you made a hell of a catch, Odell, yeah. but you lost the game. He said they are hating. Yeah. Why is telling the truth labeled hate? I think he's talking, in the context of what he's saying, he's talking about uh, constantly bringing up something negative and him celebrating the thing. I don't think he's ever said, ever, and I'd have to go through and look. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's ever said, we won that game. No. So, so in him celebrating that case, it'd be like if I were to say, hey, man, you look really nice, but your, your hands are ashy. Right. Why would I need to bring out that yeah. your hands are ashy? It was like, yo, your suit is really But if really I make nice, a good like argument, that. if you make it a good argument, okay, you like, your hands can be ashy, but that was a great argument. But look what he did. I'm just, I don't know, but if Jordan had lost, would that have been Jordan's logo? Because like you said, that's his brand. I that's think his it logo. still would have been his logo. You think so? I absolutely think. I don't think, I don't think if Jordan lost a slam dunk contest, it would be celebrated the way it is. Just like I don't think we celebrate Odell's Jumpman logo too much. It's, I, don't, I don't see anybody here wearing that.